Yeah, there are few things in this world that make me a giggling child that take me to a simple time when things weren't quite as wild. One of those very special things that does it every time is a donut and a glass of milk and makes me feel so fine. Everybody loves donuts. Lord knows I do. Everybody loves donuts. So let's see just one or two. Everybody loves donuts. Yeah, honey. Yeah. Let us begin. Hello and welcome to the Donut Shop, episode <laughs> one. My name is Will. I'm Bishop. You're That's Marcus. <laughs> and I'm Michael. And I'm Frankie. You could be fucking Michael. So for today's topic, yeah, I'd like to nominate it. jealousy, straight jealousy. Marcus? I nominate Halo. Or I violent, violent video, video, games. video games. And I want to nominate school food and the terrible nutrition that they're putting in your 13-year-old. Right, I'm gonna vote. I can for, fill her with much better meat. Right, I'm gonna vote for violent video games. Yeah, I'm gonna vote for that too. And I'm going to vote for violent video games. Alright, so might as well not even hear Marcus's response, because fucking no one cares. Alright, so Yo, what'd, you, you, what'd you have in mind when you said violent video games? What's your take? Your I love them. Do Why? you get to kill, murder, be a whole nother person, possibly? Hopefully the person that gets to tap that ass hey, over there. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kind of whoa. Yeah. So, sorry. Back off. So, sorry. Uh, audio. Audio. <clears throat> they can't see. Oh, God. Anyway. Well, how do you think they affect you psychologically, if at all? When you play a violent video game, you say you like it because you get to kill people. Do you, do you, do you think that adversely affects your view on society? Do you want to go out and kill people one day? It would be nice if I had the ability. It would be nice if you had the ability. Oh, so maybe the virtual reality in which you get to do such, such as maybe SAO? takes takes your 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 need to do such in reality away. Maybe it's 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 a nice escape from the real world where you can go and from the hell kill that people call your life. Frustrations, yes. yeah. So it's like your I type agree. of weed. Yes. it's a drug. It, it is. It puts you on a high. It, it, Halo, you're in a you're an alien. So do you yeah. only play Halo? Like, what else do you play? Other than, like, Halo, Call of Duty, nothing mainstream, what else? Spyro, Star Wars... Well, I thought we were, yeah, we were just violent video games, really. Because I don't think playing Crash Bandicoot is going to have you run out smashing boxes everywhere and eating Collecting fruit. apples. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never Putting know. Putting African tribal masks on and gaining invincibility. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Hey, some people do that, you never know. Maybe someone was influenced by that. Who knows? It's my childhood. But as far as the whole, I don't think video games have any connection to popular culture. I mean, the, the way the world no, acts think, violently. I think, if anything, the world, like, influences the games. Themselves. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Back in the 70s, when video games started making their massive emergence, you know, Pong and all that stuff, you know, there was no first-person shooter. And then the first-person shooters did come out, a lot of them were related to war game, you know, World War One and such. Because Well, even when War Games the movie came out, yeah. it came out with the video game. Because that was what people were interested in. So, I, Nowadays, think I think it's much less video games influencing society, and like you said, society influencing video games. I, like, even nowadays, all we hear about is like the war in Afghanistan and Iraq and all that. And that's what we get. We get wars in video games. That's pretty much all Call of Duty is completely based off. Things yeah. that previously happened in our history. Well, that and the fact that Black Ops 2 is even about future war. So saying that war is going to be a prominent part of society and the human existence. What's it from Fallout? War. War never Fallout, changes. Fallout, yes. Suffering from the nuclear winter and uh, living in post-war era. I Even though circa the 1950s, which I thought was pretty cool how Fallout 3 was stuck in that sort of reality. But By the way, today we've got a special guest, Frankie. Special quote. Special. <laughs> what were you going to say? Um, I think the thing with like violent video games, like people try to... like pass like the blame on it but the thing is that if someone wants to play it they can always just go to someone else's house like if little Johnny's mom isn't gonna let them play a violent video game then he'll just go to little Timmy's house and he'll that's, still be able to play that's it. That's the worst thing is that it's I'd, everywhere. I'd, I'd, yeah. I was gonna say I'd, I'd wager that there is almost no household that I know of in which any parent would not buy Call of Duty 
for their 10 year old kid. When I was 13, if there was even as close as a, if there was even a rated M game in my house, it was like in my parents' room. I wasn't allowed anywhere near it. They kept me away from that sort of violence. Yet I know people who've played violent M-rated video games since they were young, and it has no different influence on them. I've I've played them since I was five. I'd, so I mean, I don't I don't see. I can't understand how you put a blame on a video game for changing someone's actions. Because like I said, you can play Madden and it's not going to make you go out and be an amazing football player. Or you can... We trying to have a fucking conversation! Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry for that. Commercial interruptions. Yeah, we're kind of recording in the middle of our lunch period, so... Um... <laughs> people oh. walking by the whole time. That's totally not new. Hey. I lost my trail of thought. Thing, you know, train of thought, it disappears. It does. It goes down the tracks into the tunnel. It fell and off the tracks. And it comes out on the other... It fell off the tracks. It fell off the tracks. <laughs> there was a really fat guy sitting on the, the tracks, tracks and, and now fell off. You mean Brian? I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of a low, low... Oh, you're a douche. I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Brian. I know. I love you. You're a homo. <laughs> Things just got weird. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I'm gonna leave now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, um, so all time low. First episode. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so what were you saying? I hate that band. What band? All, all time, time low. low. All time low. That's a band? Yeah. You didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Everything's a band. I guess right. I get um, drunk Jamaican. I'm sure that's a band. Probably in Jamaica. Probably. I should, I should make a band called Drunk Jamaican. Jamaican, your boy be a drunk German. <laughs> Down with the steel drums and everything. He yeah. could be, be our lead oh, yeah. singer slash drummer. I don't know. He's a whole band all by himself. All he does I play is get drums, up on guitar, bass. I sing and I play piano. All he's gonna do is get up on stage and smoke. Yeah, he writes his own original lyrics. Good, I I so so own lyrics. okay. So we were talking about video games. Violent video oh, games. Off, off topic. Point of case. My final verdict: Video games don't dictate society. Stupid people dictate society. Because one guy goes and shoots up a school or a movie theater. The other hundred million Americans who play violent video games. I think it's 380 million. Was like well, not all senses. Americans play video games. Point. Well, here's well, the thing: is video games, you no longer have to go out and buy a PS3 or an Xbox. Now, if you have an iPod Touch, there's shoot 'em ups for that. If yeah. you, yeah, if you got a cell phone, it's getting, and then yeah, it's just getting any easier computer, and easier to have. yeah, any computer has great video games. Even if not, your friends are always constantly talking about it. So I would say. More, if not all of America, has at least some access yeah. to first-person shooter type games. And Maybe not first-person shooter, but, just but they're, still like, they're still like they're still like. And you can't games. blame video games on America's violent problems because you know when Franz Ferdinand was assassinated, nobody blamed that on Call of Duty. Now there's just some vice that parents don't like that they want to blame everything on. They're just making it a scapegoat when in reality they're just shitty parents. So. Yeah, because the thing about it is if someone's going to kill someone, they're going to kill someone one no matter what. A violent video game is not going to... for years, you know? Yeah. Video games is just the new vice that everybody wants to put it on. It's the martyr of society. A beautiful, show... high, pixelated martyr. <laughs> and you guys remember a couple years ago on uh, Facebook there was a big game called Mafia Wars? Oh yeah, oh, yeah I used to play you that. Don't even, it's not even a first person shooter, but it's still shooting people. It's still violence. It's still crime. It's still, and most people use Facebook, and they're gonna see that ad in some, sh you know, way or another. Even if they don't play it, it's still gonna be presented to them in a f way that. I know, still consistent. get spam from that thing. Like, I think call. I don't know what game it is. Battlefield Three has like a tie into Facebook now, so leaderboards going, and I get spam from my friends all the time from that. Like, I don't kill. I, I don't kill. I don't care how many people you shot last night in a video game. Honestly. And besides, that's not going to get you laid. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the truth. Oh as much as you'd like to think it would. <laughs> yeah. But I just thought I'd throw that out there. Hey, it makes your grip stronger. <laughs> Good for something, at least. <laughs> I have a strong grip. What are you doing, Marcus? Oh, God. <laughs> what are you doing? There you go. Old-fashioned card game and... He could, okay, Marcus, a guy who plays video games, how many hours a day? Oh my god. Okay, stop. Oh. <laughs> no, dude, no. I want to say at least... 9 to 10. 
the day? Ryan, possibly 15. I'm right around 6. For myself. I play... Okay, in a week, I might play 5 to 6 hours of video games. In a week, I'll play, well, like, freaking 48. Uh, I was going to say, I'll probably play at least a full two or three days a week. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, I still have a 4.0, and I've never had a history of violence, so... There you go. No comment. He'll <laughs> shit out of your though. <laughs> Don't fuck with this nigga. You can't say nigger on the air, nigger. <laughs> it's not polite. Screw <laughs> this, this is the internet. Fuck that. I don't, know, I don't think people are going to care. Let's Freedom be, of speech, Okay, what, what, what was totally it? run into a movie theater and yell bomb. Make right. <laughs> sure you do that, kids. <laughs> or on an airplane. Okay, that's not funny. 9 11. Oh, that's, we that, all remember. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> we all remember. South Park says you have to wait at least 10 years. Wait, it has been 10 years. It is funny. Stupid Muslims. Ha! 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 How much does that annoy you? Like, there's new ones popping up, all, like, shake my head at you. I there guess... hasn't been a new one in uh, quite a while, though. SMH was, like, the last brand new one, and that came out, like, last year. YOLO, there's YOLO. YOLO. It's not even really a texting anagram, though. That's a statement for life. No, I hear people saying that. Like, I know. Not, I, if I see it in a text, that person's name gets deleted out of my phone. I know, right? When I fuck around, I'm just like, fuck it, YOLO. <laughs> or a little, like, um, less than three thing, like... I, you know that's actually in Oxford's dictionary. Really? What? Yeah. They put like the little less than and then three thing. For the heart? Yeah. Yeah. They put that in the that. dictionary. Derek! So. It's sad. Hey. Do we have another surprise on? guest? No, he's just walking past. Oh, okay. Fine. Oh, alright. See you later. <laughs> okay, so, um. I guess we don't always have to talk about violence in video games. I mean, there's some good ones that are. Just trash. And then if you want to say from their perspective that video games just ultimately influence everything, that video that violent video games cause all the violence, then I guess we can attest the success of National Football League teams, like I said, to Madden, or the likeness of uh Think about Angry it birds to Okay. Alright, think about <laughs> it this way. Video games in America started to get really big around what, the nineties? Since the nineties, early two thousands okay. right, since the nineties when has there been like a serial killer like that's really well known? Charles Manson, when was he? Like the late eighties? Jack I thought well, he was well, uh, late sixties, early seventies. Yeah. Okay, point point in exactly. There hasn't been a big dictator since video games came out. So coincidence Well, there have been serial killers active uh, since then. Maybe not as prominent Name as one. like the eighties. Okay, I can't. Because exactly the only, the only if prominent you put it that way. But then again, there's probably a million other factors that have changed since the last big serial killer. I mean, Because I can yeah. probably say, because in, well, in early 2000, back when we were probably in middle school, there was the BTK. He was caught around that time. The, the only real prominent one in the 80s was Son of Sam. Right? That was in New York. And he was, and he thought his dog was possessed Bundy by was Satan. was in the 80s, though. I'm pretty sure. And since Bundy then, like, how it's big like a, has... Like I said, I think the only massive one that gained national attention you can call on is probably the BTK. BTK. Bind, torture, kill? Yeah. I, 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 50 year old man around the time of his. What about, what about Beltway? The Beltway sniper up. Uh, I'm talking like mass. The BTK was a national thing. I don't know how you haven't heard about that, but I used to hear about it on the radio all the time. He was a guy who was heavily involved in his church and he used to go around and, like, you know, he'd bind people up, time up. He'd torture them, sodomize them, all that, and then he'd kill them. And the story I heard about that just really freaked him out was in sixth grade. I remember hearing about it on the radio with my mom in the car one morning. And he went and some, he followed two kids home, the brother and a sister, and he tied them both up and he shot the kid, the brother in the head, and then he started raping the sister, and the brother was still alive after being shot in the head, and he tried to call the police when he got shot again, and he raped and killed both of them. Oh my god. Yeah. Crazy bastard. When I used to hear him, I used to think Burger King, because I heard BTK. I <laughs> so it was a little, you know, sadistic. When I heard him on the radio, I was like, oh, Whopper, cool. No, more like sodomy and murder. But... I guess you can say that there hasn't really been That's anybody as big as... That's how we are as a people. Like, yeah. we're, Another we're, topic for another day. Serial that will be okay. a huge right, plot. Right, that will fine, be huge. Fine. But put it that way. Yeah, you know what? You are right. That since the late 90s, video games have gotten even more popular since the development of home console systems. And they become more affordable. I don't know if you can necessarily say that's an attest to the fact that there are no more serial killers as big as there were. Well, in the I mean, 80s. I guess another thing you could say is the military. We've saw, we've seen the militarization of the police force. Like now, there's police force with like freaking armored vehicles. Maybe we didn't have that. Before. Maybe it's the fact that those serial killers 
were so insane that now it's safer to the point where we can't have people like that ever again. Because if you were to say, you know, the BTK is, in my mind, is probably the last guy I ever caught to do the same sort of things as Bundy and all of them. There hasn't been anybody else. And that's because crime has, crime rate in America has gone down since the 90s. And if we can attest that to the fact that we're just turning kids into a bunch of at-home, video game playing, TV watching... Fat people. Fat idiots. If they're so fat and at home and happy, who, why would they kill anyone? Exactly. If I want to kill somebody, I'll go home and do it on Borderlands 2. That makes me happy. <laughs> I can s take a knife to someone's face in Call of Duty. That makes me happy. Why do I need to do that to anybody in real life? Alright, so video games aren't all serious. So, what's you guys' favorite game right now? <sighs> Kingdom Hearts. Because I love the whole concept of... Even, like, you still play it today? Oh, yeah. So, oh, Alright. Alright. You want me to bring it? Huh? You want me to bring it on what, the What do you play it on? Huh? What do you play PlayStation it on? PlayStation 2. I still have my PS2 Holy in my crap. room. I've got Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and then I've got a game for my DS. You know what I hate about the 3? You can't play two games on the 3. Like, what? You have to buy them off the PSN network and stuff. I know, like... No, they don't even have all I them. bought them for like 40 bucks when they came out new. Why can't I still play them? Because they want you to pay for them again over the PSN networks. Totally like I said, cool. capital capitalist governments and all that will... Totally another oh. podcast. Favorite game of all time. Go. It's Halo, man. Halo. Alright, right. maybe Arma. Arma, but that's a good story. Right? Arma? Yeah, Arma. Civilization. So you're a role playing kind of, or not a role playing kind of guy, but a uh, world conquest. Yeah. Like it's I just, can never get into that. It's just cool very... to say, like, someone will text me while I'm playing Civilization, and I'll reply back, "Oh, hey, I'm just conquering Egypt." Like, who? When else do you get to say that? That's freaking awesome. But then you tell them that you're playing Civilization, and they just automatically hark into the days of kids sitting in the bottom of their basements on their PCs, playing such games, and they <laughs> automatically label you a loser. And life goes on. Yeah. <laughs> Even well, though just... in reality you're doing exactly what you want to do with your life, and they're the ones who are sad and disappointed in the fact that they can't. Do okay, what that's they just want jealousy. To do. That was my topic. That's not even jealousy. That's more of like. It's a form of jealousy. It is. It, it, it is. is. Well, we're still talking about video games here. But I think we've pretty much surmised every point on that. Yeah. I think we call this one dead, done. We sure murdered it. It's dead. We need a sign off. We need a sign off. All right, all right. You should so. say motherfucker <laughs> and end it. That's it, motherfuckers. <laughs> nice and loud. That's it, motherfuckers. No, for the whole quad to hear. No, no. Not that's that it, loud. motherfuckers. Not that loud. <laughs> not necessary. <laughs> yes, no. yes. No, it's not necessary. I can't do that with Ryan here. Well, I'll, okay, yeah, I, I'll hurt him. I, well, I'll just say it on three. That's it, motherfuckers. Ready? One, two, three. That's, that's it, motherfuckers. <laughs>